do you want to be rich as or do you want your kids to be rich as someday? Guys, everyone watching this video right now can afford $100 a month. I don't care what position you're in. If you can afford to take your time to watch videos to learn, you can afford $100 a month. You can afford to go, even if you're an hourly employee making $15 an hour, you can afford to go spend seven or eight hours a month extra to make that extra $100. People don't realize how much $100 compounds over long periods of time. So you might sit there and say, Paul, I'm too old for $100 a month to matter. One, not true. But two, if you have kids, get them started early. Put $100 a month into their 529 plan or some sort of IRA for them to grow with time. And in our software, we're going to be able to show you how much that can actually change your child's life. Don't you think, Mo? Absolutely. This, you know, is, this is something that the, the younger you start, it's, it needs to be emphasized, the better off you're going to be. Yeah. In the, start it for your kids. Correct. And in the book, Psychology of Money, the great thing I love about Morgan Housel, who we're going to have on the show here soon, the one thing he found about great investors were they just started early. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about these massive returns. Yeah, of course, Warren Buffett got to $100 billion net worth by investing at huge, huge returns. But it wasn't just about that. It was about, it was about starting early. And even Warren Buffett says, the earlier you start, I've just always noticed every successful business person I knew, the thing that they had in common was how, how early did they start? There was a direct correlate, there was an inverse correlation by the younger they started to how successful they were. Yeah. The younger they were, the more successful they were. The older they were, the less successful they were. That's it. So guys, in our software, we have our retirement calculator. Now, our retirement calculator is awesome because it doesn't just stop at retirement. The thing that bothers me so much amongst many things with financial planners is they say, hey, look, you're 65 and you got a million bucks. Congratulations. You're awesome. I did a great job for you. <laughs> but is this enough for you to live the rest of your life? I don't know. I have no idea, but that's what we do here. We sit there and look at what age do you expect to live to? And then once you get to that age, okay, are you going to have anything left over? Are you going to be coasting into that? Are you going to be, these are the things that matter. And so the earlier you start with your kids, you know, there was actually a, um, was it Bill Ackman? Somebody had an idea saying, listen, we complain about social security. If we just gave every newborn child $7,000 and put it in, a, in an ETF, they'd have a million bucks by the time they were retired. And I was like, and that would cost only $30 billion a year. How much does social security cost us now? God. So I look at that going, oh my gosh, that's absolutely incredible. Because Social Security, for those of you that don't know that, it invested basically 2% return on the high side. It was supposed to be a safety net that was created for the age of 62 because the average life expectancy back then was like 60. Now it's people are living to 80 and longer and they're expecting to retire using Social Security money. So instead of relying on the government, rely on yourself. So let's start. Age one, your child, they're going to retire at 65 current savings is zero, and you're going to save $1,200 a year, $100 a month for them. And you're going to increase that savings by, call it 3% a year. And once they hit a certain age, you decide they take over those payments, okay? And let's say they get 9% annualized return in a long-term ETF. And during retirement, they make 6.5%, and they expect to live to 100, and inflation is 3.5%. Now, I'm not going to worry about their current annual income. Let's put in 100,000, and let's say they want to live off that same thing. I want to show here basically how much money they would have. That $100 a month by the age of 65, go all the way down here, is $5.3 million. Now, it's not $100 a month. I said they're increasing it by 3% per year, okay? 3% per year, that's it. So in year one, it's $100 a month, then it's $103 a month. The year before they retire, it's, it's $650 a month. Not a much more. And that's 65 years later. Now, I'm not going to worry about what they have later on, but guys, $5.3 million based off starting at $100 a month. What did you put in for what percentage of your income do you want? 100%. Okay. So at th that's age of 65 right there? Yeah. So I started at the age of 10, just to show you guys, 2.38. Wow. And I, started, I just started at the age of 10. That's the only thing that I changed to his uh, inputs. Wow. Yeah. Let's start at age 18. What does it change it to? Age 18, you're down to $1.2 million. It's incredible. That's so, how much just a little bit of time makes. Nine extra years. That's yeah. it. But it's about starting early. That's what matters. That's absolutely what matters. Guys, start with your kids. Get them knowing early on this is what you're doing and tell them when you turn 18, when you turn 16, I want you working a job and putting money in that. Get them the responsibility of doing that. If you absolutely do that, you're going to change your life. Now, 
for those of you who are smart out there, which is everybody, but you're going to say, well, Paul, $5.3 million in 65 years isn't as much money. Well, I know that. Okay, so what is it? Let's look at the math. If inflation is 3.5% to the 65th power, you're still handing them $600,000. Guys, it's still $600,000. I don't care. And that's only $100 a month starting with. not changing your life. Not changing your life at all. Guys, I guarantee every single person watching this video, including myself, wastes $100 a month doing something else that's absolutely useless. So it's funny. I go to the college campuses and I talk, and I always say to the kids that are in college, freshmen, I say, how much do you think you can afford to put away right now? And so many of them say more than $250. Which shocks me. Yeah. But that just shows anybody can put away a hundred bucks. Anybody can put away a hundred bucks. I don't care who you are. If you have an excuse why you can't put away a hundred dollars, then you just got to look at your life and say, what am I doing here? What, what matters more to me? Being able to live today or being able to live in retirement? Mm-hmm. Guys, and the big thing is it gets your kids started early. I hate when parents don't talk to their kids about money. Talk to your kids about money. Start early. Talk to your kids about money. We save because we want to have this future. Ingrain it in their head. Make it a habit for them. If you're later on in life and you haven't started, make it a habit for yourself. If you're 30, if, you're, if, you, if, if your parents can save $100 a month for you, you can save five or $600 a month all day long. You can save $1,000 a month. Everybody can. Look at Dalton. Dalton works for us and he saves like 35 or 40% of his income. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Yeah. The guy just goes, yeah, I don't have, I mean, he's completely non-superficial in vain. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't need, he just wants to play golf and watch football. Right. And I love it. And, 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 and invest. Read. Yeah. That's it. That's what he wants to do. So at the end of the day, this is what you got to decide for yourself. $100 a month could make your child a millionaire. Think about that. Pretty easy. Think about that. Now, I'm going to go one step further. Let's say you start them at age one. And we're just going to take this to age 18. Because I'm going to say, let's say you stop. Let's say you stop at that point. You just stop at 18. How much money they got? They've got $60,289. Now, from there, let's say you stop completely and you grow that money for the next 47 years until retirement at 1.09 to the 47th power times 60,000. It's still $3.45 million. Just stopping at age 18 and never adding any more money to it and just growing at 9% a year. It's $3.4 million. That's a game changer. In my head, if I'm 18 and I have $60,000 in my account, I think to myself, I have $3 million in retirement. That's all I think to myself. Growing tax-free. That's the big difference. It's all about how much time you spend say, as early as possible saving money and putting it in the market. And there's going to be bull markets. There's going to be bear markets. It's going to be all those things. But at the end of the day, it's about staying in the market. So guys, if you like this, if this has changed the way in which you view saving early, subscribe to the channel, share this video with somebody else. It's going to be awesome. If you subscribe, there's going to be a lot of great videos we come out with. We do two videos per day. You don't want to miss out. Thanks very much.